guys beautiful morning beautiful afternoon and beautiful evening to every one of you how are we all doing guys i know we are all doing wonderfully okay and i bless god for your life all right so if you're meeting me for the first time my name is violet okolocha i practice nursing here in the uk and on my channel i talk about everything you need to know about oski exam in the uk and nursing here in the uk all right guys so if this is what you want if this is what you like watch till the end don't forget to like don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe it's a way of saying thank you to me for taking our time to do this video for you so today i'll be talking about a to e assessment with phq9 most people don't know that a to e assessment you can have phq9 yes you can have a patient who is in the community care home and who is depressed so if you have such patients watch this video to the end to learn about it so you get this you get your news to chat. Yes, you get your news to chat and you get your what? Your case scenario. All right? So you get your news to chat. You get your patient health questionnaire and you get your what? You get your scenario. So on this video, I will run you through all the things you need to know. Okay, guys? So please, on this channel, I aim to make sure every nurse in the UK pass their OSCE exam in one sitting. So help me share this video to as many who are preparing for OSCE exam because I really want them to pass. I got somebody yesterday and she was like, Nurse Violet, I saw your video after I had failed OSCE exam. It's really pained me. And this OSCE is really very simple, okay? So guys, come with me without wasting time and let's get started. Before we do that, I want to give a big shout out to a lot of people who passed their OSCE exam. This morning, I got 12 messages, guys, and I'm excited. Congrats to you all who are passed your OSCE exam more than the sky is your limit and if you're writing school you're definitely passing all right guys come with me without wasting much time let's talk about this phq9 a2e assessment all right so i approach my seat i see my seat is safe to approach i provide privacy for my patient then i can do my hand hygiene however in the new test of competency and even in the legacy test of competency nobody will let you check for scene safety nobody will let you provide privacy your assessor will tell you assume more checks are done right jonathan yes. she's gonna tell you assume more checks are done immediately she tells you that go straight to your words go straight to your hand hygiene so i'll do my hand hygiene according to world organization palm to palm right palm over left those on vice versa fingers interlaced fingers interlock fingers interlock rotation of the tongue rotation of the tongue tips to the finger tips to the finger end of wrist so my hands are clean i can now proceed to my patient and don't forget patient in community care who don't wear his band hello hi my name is violet i'm one of the nurses who will be looking after you today okay. so please can i confirm with you your full name your date of birth is that all right yeah come I'm, ahead please i'm having brooke perfect and your date of birth 15 of the second 1940 oh bless you Abby. I have here your name, Abby Brooke, date of birth, 15 February 1940. That's right. Perfect. And I have here as the care home address, flat one, Ebert Place, CQ, Arrow, CQ, Arrow. Correct. Perfect. So, Harvey, is it okay if I address you as Harvey? Sure. Perfect. So, Harvey, can I just quickly ask you, do you have any allergies at all? Yeah, I'm allergic to penicillin. Oh, bless you. So, what happened when you have penicillin? Well, ex I experienced a lot of rashes and also. Oh vomiting. my god, we're not gonna give you anything containing penicillin. However, I'm just here to carry out an assessment on you, okay? That's so, good. Abby, I'll be carrying out a complete A to E assessment on you using the PHQ9 charts. Is that okay? That's fine. Lovely. So, guys, usually. Assessment in the new test of competency is 20 complete minutes. So nobody's going to give you any more time than 20 minutes. So me, I've, I wrote this scenario myself, so I have an idea of the scenario. So when you approach first, read the scenario before approaching your patient. So Avi, from what I have here, I see you were in the hospital because you had low mood, you lost your wife and all that. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. fine. So we'll talk about that more. I'll just quickly do the A to E assessment on you. All right? Okay. Lovely. Assessor, please can you confirm my equipment is all clear? and ready for use yeah they are all clean you can use them lovely so i'll do my hand hygiene again palm to palm right palm over left do zone vice versa fingers interlace fingers interlock fingers interlock rotation of the tongue rotation of the tongue tips to the finger tips to the finger end the wrist so my hands are clean i put on my apron you must carry out your observation with complete apron and complete glove so i put on my apron now i'm going to be putting on my glove Abby, can you confirm with me if you ever had surgery in your left hand? 
No, I haven't had Lovely. one. Lovely. Are you happy for me to use your left hand to take your blood pressure? Why not? You can, can use I it. see it, please? Yeah. So I can see your left hand. There are no swelling. There are no inflammation. There are no edema. There are no cannula at all. So I'm happy to use your left hand to do your blood pressure. So Ave, while I'm doing your blood pressure, I'll quickly be checking your knee beds and I will apply my proof on it, okay? Good. And I'll check your ears as well, okay? okay. Is that okay with you? Sure. Lovely. So I'll tie my cuff now. Two to three centimeter away from the cubital fossa. Thank you so much, Harvey. And I'll tie it covering 80% of the upper hand. Lovely. Lovely. So, Ave, before I start this machine, can I just check your nail bit? It's properly perfused. I'm happy with that. There are no cyanosis. There are no falseness. I'll do a capillary with fee. I see it's less than two seconds. I'll just put my probe. So, guys, I don't have the probe. I assume I've put my probe now. Lovely. So, I'll start this machine while I check your ears. All right? Yeah. Lovely. So, I see there are no discharge from your ears. There are no swelling from your ears. And you don't have any hearing aid on your ear. Or do you have a hearing aid on your ear? No. Perfect. So, I'm just going to quickly take your temperature. Thirty-six point three. I'll be chatting that, and this goes into the clinical waste. Thirty-six point three. I'll write the patient's name. Ave Brooke. Make sure you write the patient's name, the patient date of birth. A lot of people fail for not doing this. So the temperature of this patient is thirty-six point three. I will see the saturation has come back to be 95. And make sure, make sure you remember we're using skin one. Okay, the saturation has come to be 95. Okay. So we have one here. And the blood pressure is now 105 over 73. Perfect. So, Abby, thank you so much for your cooperation, all right? Yes. I'm just going to be counting your pulse, and I'll be counting it for two minutes. Is that okay with you? Yes, you can go Perfect. ahead. Perfect. Can I use this hand? Lovely. Yeah. The hand is all right. No swelling, no inflammation. I'm happy to proceed. I'll put my two or three fingers, and I'll count the radio, and I'll count the pulse for complete two minutes. Thank you so much, Ave. I'm very, very grateful. So, Ave, right. I actually counted your pause for complete one minute, and I counted your respiration for one minute. So, I didn't want you to know so that it doesn't obstruct the reading. All right, okay, I'll just no quickly worries. chat that. Mm -hmm. So, your pause is eighty beat per minute. Okay, is that and, good? Well, that's good. That's good for you. That's good for okay. you. And your respiration is twenty. Lovely, and you are a lot. You're talking to me. I'm happy with that. And you're not on oxygen at all, so you're saturating mm -hmm. on air, and I'm happy with that. Yeah. Lovely. I'm just gonna calculate your new score. Guys, please, on the day of your exam, check your news chart four times. Go through to make sure you've written dates, you've written the months, you, 
otherwise if you don't check you make a mistake in anything it's going to be a fail so now mr ave is having a new score of two i'm going to go to the back of my chart and check the monitoring frequency for a new score of two and the monitoring frequency for a new score of two is coming out to be four to six hourly so all right four to six hourly and the escalation of care is yes my initials now i've checked it once i'm going to be going through to make sure i check to the right time 36.3 patient is alert pulse 18 230 so it's scoring one year is on air rescue oh the sat was 95 and you know the blood pressure so that's where it's going all right fantastic so that's all all right thank you so much mr harvey thank you so much you're welcome so I've done all your observations and um um for the breathing when i i will move over to the breathing now your respiration is okay i got a respiration of 20 there is no seesaw breathing when i was counting your respiration there was no seesaw breathing there was no unequal entering of air there was no um, respiratory distress so there was nothing like respiratory noises any reason i didn't see that so your respiration is more than okay all right so mm -hmm. when i did your saturation as well you know i checked i did your saturation your saturation is 95 which is not too bad, but because of that, you're scoring a one. It's not too bad. It's okay, okay? okay? But it was 95, so I'm happy with that, all right? So I'll move over to C. So for C, C means circulation. So for circulation, you know I counted your pulse for two minutes, mm -hmm. but actually the pulse I did count for one minute. So your pulse is okay. The strength of your pulse is okay. The rhyme of your pulse is okay. I'm happy with your pulse because your pulse was 80 beat per minute when I counted it. Mm -hmm. And I did a capillary refill on you. So when I did my capillary refill on you, you were, you know, you were not pay. You are properly perfused. There is no cyanosis, so I'm not worried about that. All right. Okay. And when I did your blood pressure, your blood pressure came out to be 130 thereabouts. Yeah, oh, nice. I have yes, yeah, 103 over 76. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, it's not very bad, but it's quite low. So you also scored a one for that. Mm -hmm. So, but that's fine. We'll keep an eye on it, and we'll keep monitoring you every four to six hourly until you know we see an improvement. Okay. So I'm also happy with that. All right. Yeah. So I move over to D. So D means disability. So for disability, can I ask you, Mr. Ave, do you know where you are at the moment? Well, um, I know I'm in hospital, but I'm um, not sure why I'm here. No, you're not in the hospital. From what I have here, you've been discharged from the hospital and now you are now in the care home. Really? Yes, you're in the care home. When? Well, they brought you to the care home some weeks ago, I think about one week, and um, you don't know why you are here? Yeah, sorry for the past um, few days, I haven't been of myself, and they, that's why I'm giving you those oh, responses. Oh, no, no, well. that's fine, I quite understand that. You are here because you were treated in the hospital because you were having depression and you were having anxiety following the death of your wife. Do you remember now? Yeah, I remember I've yes. lost my wife. Oh, but, bless um, you. And you didn't take it in a good mood. Nobody does. I perfectly understand. Okay, yeah. so it's actually made you depressed. Because from what I gather here, yeah, she's your only partner who helps you, who cares for you. Exactly. So it's been really affecting you. So you are in the care home, okay? But okay. do you know what time of the day it is? Uh, it's a bit Wednesday. Perfect, perfect. I understand, I understand. So today is Wednesday, okay? And do you know what time it is? got my watch here it's um 25 past 1 p.m perfect so you you're very now oriented but however you're now in the community care home okay, okay. and we are here to help you all right mm -hmm. so i'm happy you now know you are in a care home are you having any pains at all well i'm currently not having any pain now. okay that's fine how is your urine do you urinate well i see you use the bottles to urinate do you urinate well well, um, I haven't been passing out urine often because um, I haven't been taking much oral fluid and as yes. a result, my urine is very concentrated. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. After this assessment, I'm happy to, you know, carry out and take a blood, a urine sample and send your urine to the lab, okay? Mm -hmm. But don't worry about that. We'll handle that. They did a blood glucose on you earlier. What was it? Do you know the your blood glucose results? Well, um, 
I think the glucose um, was negative. Yeah. No, when they did blood sugar, they said they pricked your hand. They did the blood sugar on you. Do you know the results? Well, I remember the nurse told me it was normal. But, oh, okay, uh, that's yeah. fine. So I'm happy to know it's normal, all right? Yeah. So I'll move over to exposure. So for exposure, when I did your temperature, you had a temperature of 36.3, and 36.3 is actually okay. I'm actually happy with that. Do you know if you have any rash in any part of your body? rash in any part of your body no are you bleeding from any part of your no, body no bleeding do you have any injuries in any part of your body no injuries okay no. all right so can you tell me more about anything you need to tell me what happened that brought you that took you to the hospital and brought you to the care home well um um i lost my wife um in the past few days and oh. as a result um I became bless very you. depressed, oh, so um, bless you. Bless I you. couldn't bless comply you. with uh, my you. medications. That's fine. That's um, fine. I really have to encourage you to comply with your medications because the more we take our medications, the more we will get better. I know how hard it is for you. I quite understand that, but I really have to encourage you to keep up taking your medications. Now we are in the care home. The loss brings it to you, mm -hmm. but so just try and be taking your medications, okay? Mm -hmm. So how? I'll quickly just ask you some few questions yeah this uh, this is my phq9 question yeah so from what i have here i see you have little interest or pleasure in doing things nearly every day is that correct yes why because, is that so because um just as we have been discussing due to the laws um, oh, i'm so sorry i, I don't about find that. any happiness to eat oh, something else that's you. fine i quite understand that i'm just going to ask you and i see you have poor appetite or overeating nearly every day which is it is it poor appetite yes um all my concentration is on the loss and as a result i don't have any oh bless you bless delight you. or let me say oh, any appetite for food bless yes you. and i can to... see from oh, i'm sorry to cut you and i can see from what i have here that you're feeling down the place or hopeless more than half the days is that correct yes because oh, uh, my you. wife supported me in almost everything oh, and now she's oh, i quite so. understand yeah. that i'm just gonna quickly to tie your phq9 score right yeah. so i have six here i have four here i have four years six plus four so you're having a phq9 score of 14. so mrs Harvey, you're having a phq9 score of 14 which means minor depression this me major mind depression so in general it means minor depression are you happy for me to refer you to the mental health team just to keep an eye on you yes my health is um of priority to me so whatever is going to make me very healthy and also live as far as um i also have responsibilities to oh, um, bless you. that's fine so i'm more than happy to refer yeah. you there all right so they are what they are going to be taking care of you like coming to assess you and probably help you so that your mood can be better you no longer yeah. be depressed so the treatment recommendation is to do a support watchful waiting give antidepressants for psychotherapy you're more than happy are you also happy for me to refer you to the dietitian is that okay yeah. just because you're poor in appetite you're yeah. not eating the way you should yeah. eat that is that be okay be fantastic i'm more than happy to refer you so when i did your news you are having a new score of two so and a new score of two means i'm going to be monitoring you every four to six hourly okay. i'll be escalating your care to the doctor and to the um, charge nurse and say to her your blood pressure is quite low and your saturation is 95 so because you're scoring two so I'll be escalating your care. You're happy for me yeah, to do yeah, that, okay. so, right? Yeah, You'll be seeing right. me more often because I'll be coming yeah. four to six hourly to check yeah. your observation. Is that okay? That's fine. Lovely. So like I said to you, I really want you to comply with your medications because the more we take our medications, the more we get better. How do you mobilize? Well, I usually do so using my steak. Oh, yeah. bless you. Bless you. And I see from what, from the information I have from your scenario, yeah, I see you have severe osteoarthritis, but you're not having pains with it. Yeah, no pain, but I'm much careful whenever I mobilize, oh, not bless to fall. You. <laughs> I know how it is. You know, you're like, you know, yeah, watching. Yeah. Bless you, bless you. Holding on to yes, things and other yes. stuff. Yeah. Because you're not eating, do you mind me, you know, trying to see with a dietitian and planning a meal for you? Probably you can be taking it gently you know eating yeah small. in bits in yeah. bits that's yeah. it eating small amounts of feed that's regular yeah. in tava that is really going to help so yeah. do you sleep well yes um i usually sleep for short periods and oh. whenever i wake up 
the laws that flash oh, in my mind you, yeah so now i'm referring to the mentality and i think they can walk hand in hand and see probably you may need some drugs so you know to relax you more you know what i mean yeah. yes and the dietitian are going to plan your diet and work on your diet so do you have any other concerns for me no, I'm okay. You are being a tremendous oh, help. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's so lovely yeah. to know. Thank you so much, Mr. Ave, for your cooperation. I really do appreciate this. All right. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I'm done. This is the end of this assessment. So, thank you for your cooperation. Right, I'll welcome. take off my apron. I will take off my glow. All goes in the clinical waste. I will do my hand hygiene. Palm to palm, right palm over left, those on, vice versa, fingers into lace, fingers into lock, fingers into lock, rotation of the thumb, rotation of the thumb, tips to the finger, tips to the finger, and the wrist so my hands are clean. I'll make sure I keep my equipment ready for the next use. So guys, if you look at this video critically, you saw how I was rushing to meet up. I didn't even ask, do you smoke or drink alcohol? Yes, because you have a lot to do. But guys, make sure you ask if the patient comply with medication, make sure you ask them how they mobilize. If you still have time, make sure you ask about do you smoke or drink alcohol all right guys so thank you so much for watching i am in depth in fact i don't know the grammar to use i am very grateful to nurse jonathan for making out time to come and help me do this video jonathan thank you so much for your time highly appreciate it jonathan is a Ghanaian nurse so probably i'm going to feature him in one of my videos because he's earning too much money already he's going to tell us how he makes a whole lot of money all right guys thank you so much for watching until right. i see you again keep passing your whole ski exam i love you all guys and bye